Before you attempt to enlarging the shape by a fractional scale factor, make sure you can enlarge your shape by a positive whole number before you start this example. Um, so let's have a look at the example. So we're going to enlarge the shape by a scale factor times a half from the centre of the enlargement, which is down here. So basically, if the scale factor is times a half, it's actually making the shape smaller. So we're making it all the side lengths half as long as the original shape. So the easiest way to do this then is to count the distance from the centre to each of your three corners. So let me start with the closest corner here. So from the centre to this corner it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 squares right and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let me make a note of that, 4 right, 6 up. So since our scale factor is times a half, I'm going to times this distance by a half which gives you 2 right and 3 up. So if I count 2 right and 3 up from the, from the centre of enlargement, you get 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So this corner becomes here. So let me do the next corner down here. So I count from the centre to the corner. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3. So it's 8 squares right, 3 squares up. So scale factors times a half. So we need to half the distances. So that would be 4 right and 1 and a half squares up. So again count this distance from the centre to mark out your new corner. So if we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and a half. So we've got two corners done, we've just got to do the final corner now. So again if we count the distance from the centre to that corner. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 right and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 right and 10 up. So half the distance is, so it's be 5 right and 5 up. So I count the new distances from the centre. So here we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once you've done it, just join the points up neatly with your ruler. As you can see, it's the same as the original shape, but all the side lengths are half as long as the original shape.